once you've loaded uh, Rentalizer and Chimera, you want to use the Ring Interaction Network Generator online. You can search for it. Just Ring Re Residue Interaction Network Generator. Or you can see the, the link up there. So all you have to do is put in a uh, valid PDB ID. Hit Submit. And it's going to be a while. So don't close the window, as you can see there. It took about 10, 15 minutes. Of course, 2BBO is pretty big. So when it finishes, it's going to ask you if you want to run Java. Uh, just pick one of the options. We really don't need Java. It's going to load a couple of applications that you can use to uh, view the sequences. Jaw view, but we're actually going to use the HTML zip file and PDB files is what we want. So notice when you hit zip archive, it downloads the results. This is going to contain this SIF file, and that's going to be the most important thing for us. Now, also, you'll want to download the PDB file. It's been corrected, and I think it has hydrogens inserted into it. Uh, then you'll want to look at these other pages. They have lots of useful information, primarily about what happened during the run, how it generated things. Uh, you can see the output there, and Reduce is a program that it launches, and Reduce is really important. Uh, now, once you've done that, then you can go to the side escape link and there's a complete tutorial and if you click and it's a PDF and so I'm going to right click and open it in a new tab and once it loads we're going to go over there and you can see 24 pages but it has uh, pictures so it's long only because it has lots of information in it in a uh, very uh, pictorial format. Screenshots of what to open, when to click where, stuff like that. Now let's extract the results from our download. So we click on it, extract. It's a zip file, so we have to extract everything. It's fairly large, but we're not going to use that much of it. Now you'll want to uh, look at the README. So you can see that it's uh, got information about the network and uh, things like that. Then you'll also want to look at the other files. So the attribute files, there's a lot of these, but they're text files and they have a lot of information that uh, of this type and you might find it useful so I'm not sure what it all means but it's supposedly interesting biologically the SIF file is the only thing we need to actually run it in Netscape I'm sorry, Cytoscape alright so now once you're in Cytoscape You've already installed the Rentalizer, so you go to Import and Network Multiple Files, and you're going to select the SIF file. So, once you've done that, the SIF file will be loaded, and there it is. You can see, it's really highly connected. Now, even without using Rentalizer, you can change the uh, layout. Well, let's hide the data panel first. You can change the layout by going to organic and this is good for showing these interaction networks and you'll find that in the tutorial. But more importantly uh, we want to go and use Rentalizer. So oh yeah and, and remember Cytoscape if you zoom in then you can see individual uh, parts
charts and vertices and if you right click on a vertex you'll get vertex attributes so I'm just playing with it so we move around the little view box on the lower left window over there and then you can right click and drag to zoom alright so let's go to Rentalizer <coughs> And the first thing we're going to have to do is load the protein structure. Now this is going to load it from the data bank. We could load it from the corrected hydrogen file and there may be a good reason to do that. Now when you open the structure by PDB, then that's going to launch Chimera. And Chimera is going to interact with Rentalizer and give you information you couldn't get with either one separately. So notice we can do the REN layout this is a special layout based on the uh, interaction network connectivity so you can see it has a different shape and you can see these are highly connected vertices so probably at some point we'd want to prune some of this uh, by thresholding or something like that And of course you'll notice that you can see the uh, chimeras in the background and, and we can actually control it. For instance, we can show the backbone. That shows the backbone over there in chimera. So we can control the viewer from Cytoscape with the Rentalizer plugin.